<laughs> Hi everyone on FlossTube. Welcome to the Sun City Stitchers channel. I'm Carlene and I'm Marlene and this is episode number 26. And we had a huge issue this past mm. week with loading episode number 25. Yes. So what we're going to do today is a short little video mm. and then we're going to encourage you to f look for and find number 25 <coughs> because they're going to get <coughs> uploaded at almost time. Well, I think, I don't know, unless this one takes days and days to upload. Hopefully but I think not. the two will get uploaded very close yeah, together. Yeah, almost exactly the same time. I, I think so. Anyway, episode number 25 has a giveaway in it, like we promised. And uh -huh. um, so you want to tune into tune that in so you can enter to because win Because we have the... something to give away. Mm -hmm. So um, we yes. enter to win that. Yes. And then today we're going to just do a kind of a quick catch up, show you um, a little bit of haul, show you a little bit of what we've been working on and um, talk a little bit about our exciting weekend coming up next yes, week. I'm so excited. So let's get started. I'm mostly excited because I get time off from tutoring. So. I know because you've been tutoring nonstop mm -hmm. since, since August. Started. Since August. Yeah. So yes. I'm kind of You're ready. ready. For a break. You're yes. ready for a break. So anyway, but yes. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, what did you stitch on this week, Marlene? Well, I'm very, very happy because I was way behind behind on my college game day. I still had one project to finish for week four. I had to catch up on week five, week six, and week seven. And as of right now, I'm all caught up to week six. Oh, you did good. So, yes, yeah, so I did good. So after I'm, I caught, I'm up, caught up because I, I only had three that. teams that were yeah, I only have four seven. for week seven, so it shouldn't so, take me long. Yeah, no. And I really limited myself to only doing like right around 100 stitches. So that really helped me catch up. But um, after I got caught up with week five, then I got to work on Hello Autumn. I just love it. I haven't gotten to work on that. For a I long worked time on this too. I worked on it last Saturday during college so football. I, I have this much done. Oh, look, you've gotten a lot of red done. Yeah, I got the cat, start of the cap Isn't done. It's fun. It I is really love fun. love working it's on It's really it. fun. I really like it. I worked so, on mine too. Let me too. see how much you have done. Oh, you've started putting in the flowers. That's what I want to do. Yes, I've I've got that the back. That looks really good. And I started a little bit on the checkerboard at the bottom because oh, I uh -huh. thought I wanted to work a little mm -hmm. on that. So um, yeah, I, I'm I have back to stitching. There's a lot of back stitching, yeah. but I really love this. I'm, I'm trying to decide. Have you done any of the back stitching? No, no, I haven't either. Um. I'm trying to decide whether I want to work on filling in some of those flowers and everything in the bed of the truck uh -huh. or whether I want to go down here and do the tire. I, I did the I did yet. the tire and then I started uh -huh. working on the flowers. So yeah, yeah. this one's very fun. I'm going to work really on fun. it again tomorrow while yes, football, I'm hoping, college football yes, is on. I'm hoping to work on my, I'm working on um, Fall on the Farm right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what else? else? And then, of course, one of the projects I got to catch up on for week um, five and six this was, um, oh, okay, was um, my Long Dog Sampler Quilted Bees. And I'm very excited. It's turning out so pretty. And Ohio State is our number two yes, team. Ohio they State. did not play in week seven. No, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. So you're caught so, up yeah. on this one then. So, I started filling in the other, that star oh, kind of block. Oh, the star pattern down here. Yeah. So, oh, those colors are just so pretty. And I took out, when I had put in this block here, oh, that's I right. put you that, did green, that green at the top. And I didn't like it. I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I don't think it needs it. And I looked here to see uh, how the stems looked and everything. And I was it like, just yeah, didn't you know what? fit no. up there at the so corner. So I took that, that out. Too. And, then and you could always, if you wanted to make a little more distinction, you could always just do a green, like, backstitch line. Yeah. There, but I don't think yeah, it needs it. I don't think it needs it. it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. That's how it would look if it was real fabric. Yes, that's right. So that's what I decided. So anyway, so. Well, I got I to really work like on Fall on the Farm. And I have the border of this block. This is block six. I have this border done. 
and I'm gonna be filling all of this design in for one of my extra credits. And then I um, worked on getting this border done, which is block number seven. And then I'm doing block, the border for block eight is finished and block nine is almost done. So you and, have almost all of your blocks yes, put in there. Yes, and I filled in the pumpkin, little pumpkin vine right here. I got that done. Um, so when I finish this block, you can see oh, what I yeah. have done. Mm -hmm. I almost have that ninth block finished. Oh, yeah. And so you when I have, have that, that much done, then that'll be a thousand stitches for the first homework. And then the second homework will be filling in block number six. So mm -hmm. by the time I get done with my homework, my extra credit for October, I will have a little bit left in block seven, mm -hmm. and then block eight and nine mm -hmm. to, to fill That's in. Good. Yeah, I just worked, of course, I only have the second block done. And, and then, didn't you get the first block done? Oh, no, I'm not quite done with it. I have this part put in with oh, the wagon okay. and the, the birdhouse. And now I'm working on that table here. Okay. The checkerboard part. I'm yes, working the on that right stand. now. The little fruit yes. and vegetable stand or whatever. Yes, so it is. that's what I'm working on. So anyway, I worked on that. So, Anything else, excited. Marlene? Yes. And then I worked on another one that I got to catch up on for week five and six was my Fox and Rabbit Changing Seasons. This is for Clemson. It's the number four. And, and I also worked on Poison Garden and um, Autumn Hydrangea Fog, but I didn't bring those two to show this time. Um, so this is what I have done. I'm almost have, let's see, is it this way? No. Is it that way? Yes. This okay. Way. Um, so I'm almost done with this last little flower motif down here in the corners. And then I'm going to go in and start on the boxes. That's what I'm working on the boxes. But this mm -hmm. is my project for um, team number 10, North Dakota State, and they lost this oh, week. No. They've had seasons where they've had perfect seasons, and this uh -huh. week, this, this year when I'm doing them, yes. now they've lost a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. And then the other thing that I worked on that I'm very proud of is my lavender mint oh, tea. Did you fill in the... I did, and see? it looks good. Yes, you can't even see yes, see, where the you. I thought it would lines okay. were. And then, well, no, that isn't what you said. You I said, said it, probably it might yes. be okay. <laughs> it might be okay. And, and, uh, and then the words for silver needle got filled in. Oh, that's So good. I'm ready now mm -hmm. just to work on the lavender. So I really want to get this one mm -hmm. done by the end of the year so that I have another project that's that's finished. Good. Yes. So that's my lavender mint tea by Tempting Tangles I with to, Pinky Dye Floss. I need to have you help me look and see if there's anything I can finish by the end of the year because I just have a lot of projects. A lot of projects. A lot of projects. And then I have a project that, that I showed so you cute. last week, but mm. it's almost fully finished. I have to finish so mounting cute. it, but it's going to look like this. That's really cute. And then I did get some new haul this week. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I ordered was the sets of ribbon from Fat Quarter Shop. So they had the reds. And so I got the reds. And then I also got the blacks to put with my, my finishing stuff. Um, and I want to use this black and do like a, um, a just a, a bow up here on the top. Mm -hmm. And then I want to get a slightly narrower orange ribbon mm -hmm. to put in the center because this pattern, this was the Rosewood Manor Cats on a Pumpkin pattern that I just finished stitching. But I want to put um, the button that came with it is this little black cat. So, so I want the little black cat to go in the center of the bow oh, yeah, up here, here, so at the top. So mm -hmm. the bow will go here. And then this is where I'm gonna paint um, some stars and then the crescent moon will go up here oh, yeah, in the corner. Oh, yeah, that would look very cute. Yeah, I think it will be cute. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm excited. I want to get this yes. one done because it's going to be so a fully finished one. This, this uh, tomorrow, too? tomorrow, and then your surprise, mm -hmm. the last surprise for camp that you have. Mm -hmm. Then I also got, along with that ribbon, 
I also got a couple of other things. This was also from Fat Quarter Shop. I ordered um, the the cuts, the Fat Quarter cuts of Chelsea's checks. Oh, that's because, really cute. Yes, and there's Look several colors. colors. Yeah. And so um, you can see I took them all out of the bag and played with them a little bit. And then I tried to fold them back up and put them in the bag. But I like them. I, it's a nice... And it's a nice amount uh -huh. for finishing. So um, I was really happy with that. I got that. Oh, that's exciting. I also ordered, they had a flash sale this week. And they had, well, it was actually last week. But I, I got it this week in the mail. 36 count Cypress oh. Edinburgh Linen. And I really love this that's color. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. So, um... I, I just decided, remember we've talked about we need to branch mm -hmm. out. And I thought, you know, we aren't going to know if we like it right. until we just order mm -hmm. some stuff. So who is that by? This, bird, this? Um, this is this is a fiber on a whim. Okay. Fiber on a whim, so I really 36 think that count. Would look, I think that would look really pretty with my um, frog princess. I think it would be really pretty. But she's I got that light colored gown. Count. I think that no, but it comes in other counts and too. I, I really like the the Joblin or the even weave. Yes. I really like so that. So I don't know. And then of course that dye is going to take differently. Right. Um, but you know, you can order it. And if mm -hmm. you don't like it for that project, you can always order it yeah, and use it for something, something else. else. Yeah. And then I got Marlene a present. Mm -hmm. So, Marlene, do you want to show that? Yes. This is the Halloween Tiny Town. I've been wanting the Tiny Town designs for forever. So, I got so you a little cute. present. I like yes. the little drums, too. Yeah, that's really cute. I've seen that so on the back. So, what's one? Oh, Spring Tiny Town is on oh, the back. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't. I don't have that one. No, you well, don't I have, have any, any of them. them. But I didn't know there was a Spring Tiny Town. I've seen the Valentine. Tiny Town. Mm -hmm. Is there a Christmas Tiny Town, I think? I think so. A patriotic Tiny Town. And now she must be doing the seasons. And then, this and is then, so um, cute. oh, I want to start this one. Yes, <laughs> it's really cute. And I, I like the sure. little tiny drums. Uh -huh, that's really cute. Those little drums are just really cute, and does too. Does it do a pattern, or you just pick which ones you want to do? I, I think... I think you just pick which ones you want to do. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't really looked at it that yeah. close. But anyway, this is yours. <gasps> thank you. I thank think you. you do them all. I love it. But, and then so. I ordered a new pattern for me. It was the Halloween Quaker. I saw this one on the Fat Quarter Shop. Oh, yeah. And it was finished mm -hmm. and framed. And it was just gorgeous. And so I got this. Um, I really want to do it on the fabric which is murky, mm -hmm. um, but I, d I haven't found murky anywhere yet because I think it was a popular Halloween fabric. Oh, um, so it's so, stuff. Yes, so. so I'm hoping that I can get it, but mm -hmm. um, I won't be starting this one now, no, but I, I, I one think one. that's really, really pretty. This mm -hmm. was um, a Lila, Lila Studio design, and it's called Halloween Quaker, and um, I, I like this pattern a lot. I think it's very cute. Mm -hmm. So I'm and excited. Cute. Yes, I you can see. I have to use my glasses. Oh, that's really cute. I like the little village down here. Yes, I just thought it was really cute. Really cute. And d they showed yeah, like uh, little down little here, stuff. they showed a small and they did just the little village, oh, like okay. a little maybe trifold and then a little biscornu with the cats. So I thought those were both cute options mm -hmm. to just take a portion. Yeah. They did the cats just from this portion oh, and yeah. then the tiny village down mm -hmm. here just like as a little oh, trifold. Yeah. So I thought that was That's really cute. cute. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I was excited to get that because That's that pattern, cute. I'm not usually a big Quaker pattern, no. um, but I really liked yeah. this one. This so, is really cute. Yes. Um, so I'm, I'm I, gonna, I that's gonna that go too, on my stitching but, list along with course, I all the ladies. Yes, very good on the, on the, you know, on the site when they were yeah, showing it. Yeah, so. it's hard to see. Yeah. So, so that's really, really cute. And, and then, I have to borrow that pattern from you and do it too. Yes, you can. Or you can order your own. Yes, I may have to order my own. Um, okay, so then. So, we have that. We have that almost finished. 
We're looking forward to next weekend. Yes. yes. Next Have weekend fun. is the FaithWorks Design Camp, her little stitch retreat. Um, Camp Stitchmore. Camp Stitchmore. Mm -hmm. It's up in the Sacramento the mountains. mountains of New Mexico, and it's going to be cold. I know. I saw that. Only in the 50s, right? Mm -hmm. And During in the, the like, low 30s mm -hmm. at night. So we're going to need very warm clothes yes. and maybe extra blankets. Yes. Um, but, yes, it's up in the mountains of New Mexico. Really fun. Um, it takes us probably two and a half hours to mm -hmm. drive from El Paso mm -hmm. up there. Um, and we're going to go up on Wednesday. Um, we'll help with a little bit of setup. And then um, Thursday is when camp starts. People start arriving. Um, all of our food and everything is taken care of, so we don't have to cook. We don't have to clean up. Mm -hmm. We just wander over to the cafeteria, and they have food, and yeah. it really is delicious it's food. It's really good. It is really very good. good food. And um, so uh, we'll do we'll do Thursday and then Friday we'll have classes and Saturday we'll have classes. Sunday is kind of just a stitch and yeah. finish and um, and then Monday we'll be traveling back. Uh -huh. We'll help take um, down and then travel back. Uh huh. So um, we're looking forward to it. I had hoped that maybe we'd be able to do a video from up at camp, but I don't know what the internet connection is going to be like, but we will try. Yeah. And if we can't do it Friday from camp, because we're up in the mountains and the internet is not great, the mm -hmm. signal is not great. But if we can't get it uploaded, know that we will share all the wonderful um items from boutique uh -huh. we'll share and we'll take some pictures if we can't do a video we'll try to take some pictures of like the setup and everything yes, so you yes. can see we'll it. make sure we get yeah. some videos so we'll, and things we'll like upload that. the video the so, pictures and stuff if um, we can't do an actual video we're we're excited we're excited mm -hmm. to stitch with all of our stitchy friends i know um, it's gonna be so it's fun it's gonna be so fun and it's um, really fun it's always such a relaxing um, weekend. It is. So it is. Um, mm -hmm. we're excited. We're already Except planning. The, the only part that's really hard is that Cardine and I, we kind of tend to stay up late at night and stitch in our room. And then we have to get up early. And so then yes. <laughs> it's kind of hard. We stay for a while, but then we go back to our rooms mm -hmm. and then we stitch late. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, breakfast is like at eight o'clock. And so, um, anyway, we have but to be up by like seven thirty to look we can, a little bit presentable. <laughs> yes. So anyway, we're excited, and we will yes, share all the excitement with you yes. um, as soon as we can. It's gonna be really um, fun. And we hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your stitchy time, um, and get some family time. And we will see you all next week so Hopefully. remember a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine so wherever you are bring your own sunshine and, and keep, keep on, on stitching, stitching.